Uh, as a man, I cannot go to the masjid for, uh, masjid for any of my prayers, except Friday, Friday prayers. How can I teach my sons to go to the masjid if I don't go? How can I live my life without this important part of my deen? Every person in my house prays separately. Am I very sinful? No, you are not sinful. That's the first thing. You are not sinful because you are not attending the prayers in the mosque because you are working. So what you are teaching your son is that when you work for your family, that in the fiqh you have an exception on the rule. And that as soon as you are able to pray in the mosque, that he sees you going to the mosque. This is the first uh, thing I would like to mention. Then um, the other thing is, um, here is, uh, we have to know that some of the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum, they would only come to the mosque on Fridays. This is one of the Sahaba that used to live outside of the borders of Medina, that work on the land, have the camels. They would only come to the mosque to attend the Jum'ah prayers because they used to live quite far. And this is one of the reasons, like, uh, subhanallah, uh, Imam al-Baji of the Shafi'iyah, rahimahullah azza wa said, and this is also what Imam al-Qarrafi, rahimahullah of the Malikiyah mentioned, that the Sahaba, radiallahu anhum, some, that this is the reason why they were obliged to wash themselves on Friday, because they used to be working very hard. Their clothes were made out of suf, woolen clothing. And the mosque of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the ceiling was very low, and it would be very crowded. So these, the suf, the woolen clothing, would have a certain kind of smell, and they would be very sweaty, sweaty due to the work. So this is why the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, said that one should not attend the Jum'ah before first having a bath. But later on, of course, our scholars said that this applies uh, to anybody who attends the mosque because it's a Friday. But that was originally the reason, uh, like Abdullah ibn Abbas uh, mentioned as well. So some of the Sahaba radiallahu anhum would only attend the mosque on Fridays. If you live near a mosque and you don't go to the mosque, that would be something different. If you have a 25 minute drive, then the scholars were very clear that if you drive, have to drive very far, that you that if you there would be an adhan and you wouldn't hear it, that you are not obliged to go, but it would still then be a sunnah mu'akkada. Meaning that you should still try your best to go there, even if, if it were just for fajr and isha, if it's a bit farther, further away.